go for it. All right. So here we, so where are you, my friend? By the way, just to let everyone know, because I'm going to start before we start the show, I'm smoking the Year of the Ox by uh, the pig. So I'm going to enjoy my non Cuban cigar today. So I don't have to listen to you complain like the little girl that you are. That's so, very kind of you. I love you too. I know. I love you too. I know. I love you. I love you. Listen, I love you like the brother I never had. I'm in a fabulous cigar lounge in London. This is yes. Tom Tom Cigars. Uh, it's pretty much my favorite. I might as well say that now. Uh, okay. Is, without playing my head, here is one of their private humidors. I don't know if you can see it. I see it. Sure. Stocked up. You won't be able to see anything specific, but what you will realize is they only keep quality Cuban cigars. Yeah? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got some. Hey, hey Riz, I got a question for you. Do they, do, they, do they only have Cuban cigars there? What they have here is only normal cigars, the normals. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. They only have Cuban cigars there. Okay, I just wanted normal. to make sure. They have normal cigars. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't know if they only had Cuban cigars, cigars there. So they don't have any New World cigars is what you're trying to tell us. So now I'm giving you a view of my favorite cigar lounge. You can see it's a fairly comfortable space. Um, this right. is a place where you can come and hide and pretend not to be a knob for a day. Well, that's hard for you because you're a knob every day. Thank you. And there's a bar area mm -hmm. on the back. Uh, the, it's not a wet bar. It's a soft bar. And we've got some fellow cigar smokers sitting in the background. Yeah, I see that. They're notable personalities, but for their privacy oh, and our protection, oh, we'll keep them out of this. <laughs> for their comfort. And uh, I, I think I'm, okay. I'm giving up cigar smoking. I'm okay. giving up this filthy habit. Yeah, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You've uh, been giving up this fun. filthy habit now for a while. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to actually start the show. We're going to start the show in a little bit when you're done, you know, going off on your rant and have Lisbon join. Oh, really? You want to start the show now? Go for it. Go for it. You look so, but, but princess, Sorry. but princess, you look so cute in your hat. So, I mean, you know. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're it's starting the show. It's not a hat. It's a borsalino. A fedora. Borsalino. It's a fedora. Hey, listen. It's a fedora. Wait, it's a fedora. Wait, does somebody, Lisbon's about to join us, but we're going to start the show and then... We're going to discuss all I things did. cigars today, and then Hello. we're going to discuss how not to get Hello. sick, how to do stuff. Yeah, we got you, pal. Relax. We're going to start the show. We Hello. see you. There we go. There's Usman, everybody. Osman's going crazy. Osman's going crazy ah. because he knows I'm smoking an exclusive for Italia, Casanova. Mm. And that too, and that Look who I've got with me. Mr. Look Tavesi. who I've got with me. Pay my regards to Ali. <laughs> I, I already saw Ooh. and I said, Hello. And Mustafa. All right. What's up, boys? Oh, well, as long as Mustafa's there, then now it's a show. Thank God. We can start. Hey, guys, here we go. We're ready. This is 2OF Entertainment. Gentlemen, welcome to the show today. How you doing? Sorry, 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 sorry. Ready? Hello, hello, boys. I am very well. And how about you? I'm doing well, but it's very I'm hot. It's like 30, 35, 40 C. So I'm in a, just a nice t-shirt today, smoking the Year of the Ox by the Pig. And it came in a beautiful wrapper, which I showed before. And now I'm going to what? enjoy this what? with my two best mates. What are you talking about? 35, 40 being hot? This is Listen, this is like just, just like moderate. This is moderate temperature. I'm just, he's not, he's not I listen. People from people from New York don't have the yeah um, yeah. yeah. We, don't, we don't we don't believe in we, yeah. We don't we don't do the thirty five forty C crap and wear a suit. Okay, basically, just so we're clear, all I have is a shirt on and I'm naked below. Um, so that's a good thing for the female viewers. Just so everyone's yeah. happy. I'm smoking the Casanova. I, I, what are you smoking there, uh, Osman? I'm smoking a normal cigar. I know that's a Cuban. The Casanova is already and, smoking um, a Casanova. And, Mansour, uh... <laughs> and I'm smoking a beautiful <laughs> New World cigar. So, hold on. Let's get Osman. Go ahead, Osman. 
Very nice. Very nice. I muted uh, Riza because he has no manners. Anyway. Um, oh, are you back now? You realize we're doing a show? There you go. Oh, Look yeah. at you with your little hat. Uh, the gay people in America are going to be loving you. <laughs> we're, an, we're an inclusive bunch, aren't we? It's not mm, just the hat, it's a Borsalino. It's a Borsalino. Uh, oh. or, 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 or it's a fedora. Yeah. It's a fedora, boys. Let's not get carried away. The fedora is a fedora is a fedora. So <laughs> let me ask you th- let me a- let me ask you this, my sommelier. So a lot of people ask oh, us, dude. how don't you get sick when you smoke a cigar or how you light a cigar? Let's do a little cigar one on one before we start the show. Since our 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 flamboyant host is at Tom Tom um, with his friends. <laughs> um, so tell everybody, tell us about that. So how do you don't get sick smoking cigars and how do you like them? What's the best way? Okay. Well, when it comes to uh, cigars, cigars are actually not like cigarettes to be inhaled. That's the first and basic principle. Two, right. uh, the cigars that generally most of us smoke, they are hand-rolled, technically organic or live products as they still can uh, be humid, I mean, humidified, the temperature impacts them, and, and overall, the, uh, the, the aroma, the profile of these changes over the time period they've spent and aged. As far as the cutting and lighting of cigars is concerned, I mean, I've always preferred the basic uh, Zykar's cutter, uh, the double butterfly cutter, uh, well, this one is a Cigarte's favorite thing by the Oyo de Monteri, so I wanted to pair it with it. Oyo de Monteri, just a clean, simple cut, and you have the cap off. Once the cap is off, you toast your cigar like this, a little bit far. Try to ensure that the fire and the uh, should not touch the foot of the cigar. And it will automatically start lighting up. Do so the round circular things. Make some love to it. And just a little bit of care and, and aeration. The reason I am doing this or blowing a bit of on the foot of the cigar is to ensure that it's not warm and it's properly aired before I Take the first virgin puff. Absolute beauty as always. So uh, right. that's what... now coming to the question where you do not fall sick. See, cigars are for your personal enjoyment. One cigar should be smoked uh, ideally when you have something uh, in your belly or you've eaten something and you're not completely uh, like starving or hungry because that way it allows your blood pressure to settle down well and you're not uh, sugar deprived because obviously because of the smoking part the blood pressure is going to be a little low as far as uh, the part uh, is concerned regarding you being healthy and all of that is smoke in moderation uh, smoke it in a way that around 40 to 50 seconds above uh, because the moment you start smoking them faster like a cigarette or an e-cigarette or a vape, that kind of crap, uh, you're going to fall sick for sure because the more number of puffs and, and if your cigar is hotter and warmer, it's going to uh, cause some uh, concerns related to you throwing up or you're not feeling well and nauseatic. But otherwise, as long as you're following this, you're enjoying the process, you're enjoying the aroma the flavor profile the rituals in the process slowly and gradually you get used to it uh have any one of us 
not been fallen sick that's not the case i mean all of us have learned through mistakes and the best part is uh learning from them and going slow take it slow sometimes some cigars you would love sometimes some cigars you won't like them so 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 from that perspective i would say it is it is something you should enjoy uh at your own pace and build it accordingly savor a lot of cigars enjoy and expand your palate and and go for it it's it's a hobby that is purely your to to enjoy and relax and obviously bond with fellow uh, brothers and sisters of the leaf and be part of the global community and talking about brothers and sisters talking about brothers and sisters of the leaf there's our resident princess um, oh, sitting at Tom Tom's in the United Kingdom, wearing his fedora. Wait, he's on mute. We'll unmute him now because now he's paying attention again. <laughs> Who like to take you on a walkabout of their humidor upstairs? Would you yeah. like to show us this? Sure, I thought all the fans would love to see Tom Tom. Let me show you. Let me show before you. That, before before that, 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 hmm. that, let's make it a slightly different episode. This this is Tom Tom. This is obviously the smoking lounge downstairs. Of course. And there's Rizzo and losing his internet. Very brief. Easy. So you go upstairs. Did he say that was a speakeasy when you go upstairs? So everybody, you get to go to a speakeasy. You know what happens there. So that'll be good. <laughs> so. Is there? Can you see? Mm -hmm. Ow. That's beautiful. Wow! Look at that. That's that brings. Oh, I'm crying. Raza, show me the jars. Show me the jars. Show us the jars. That is a collection. Oh, oh wow. look at that. That's a beauty. That is some collection, man. That is a collection. Wait, wait. They're going in the secret room. This Very is where they keep all the uh, the brothel. So. So now, Riza, if anybody watch, if, if anybody who's watching the show goes in there to Tom Tom and say they've seen it, the general manager here, say hi. Very nice. Hi, Hello. Manager. Wait, do, do our fans get ten percent off if they go and mention the show to the general manager at Tom Tom's? <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> there we go. Did you enjoy that? Oh my we God, so, I'm so, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted from the walk. We so did, but the fact is, say hi to Christian for us. And Please. Thank you, Christian. YouTube now. You, you you He's have a YouTube my celebrity. You. Have my mule with you. <laughs> Stephen is sitting in the USA. Osman is sitting in Pakistan. We're sitting in London. There we go. There you go. And you're sitting at, you're sitting, wait a minute, because you like to selflessly plug things. Where are you sitting again in London? I'm, yeah, I'm sitting at Tom and Tom. <laughs> yes. And here's what's really funny. Not just did the uh, say it, everybody in the lounge is saying it. They're all like, no, you're at Tom Tom's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the choir. We appreciate that. Friday at Tom Tom's. So maybe next time I'll have a more structured, I'll have the tripod set up outside. Uh, outside. And do an outside show. Mm -hmm. This is oh, on 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 what chairs? On what chairs? The well, balloon chairs upstairs, and then they have the exterior. Chair. We'll leave that for next time. But I today I wanted to be at pains to to make something happen, sort of on the road. So uh, uh, since you generated those AI videos of me saying that I was giving up cigar smoking, I felt that <laughs> but that that. The, false narrative and show you that I actually can go and sit in a cigar lounge and have a, a decent smoke with some normal cigars, Cuban with which Stephen, the thing is, now that we have the actual Raza and not the one with the filthy filthy habit, let's make sure All right. we, we, we get some commitments from him because I hear Someone was talking to me a couple of days back, and I guess that was also AI generated, saying this would be probably my third or fourth uh, smoke because I'm gonna give up smoking after three cigars. And I was like, yep. "You damn right, you do." So I think. So and if I re and if I remember correctly, I remember correctly in that AI generated show apparently that he was sending us all his cigar paraphernalia 
Absolutely. I haven't gotten anything myself. I'm just saying. I'm still waiting. So, well, well Juan has received some of the paraphernalia. And what now... paraphernalia? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, yes. Full deniability. Uh, and um, Stephen, now that you've sent me your your snail mail address, as we call it here in the yeah. United States, you'll be receiving the rest of my cigar stock. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to hold my, I'm going to hold my breath until your face turns blue. So we're good. Um, so, <laughs> all right, boys and girls. Well, let's watch him call it. Let us, um, let us do the, uh, exciting thing here and let us have a, let us have a show. So are we going to do our, our dinner guests or are we just going to talk about Tom Toms and cigars today? What would you like to do? Well, there's Tom Tom. Look at that. He's got a Tom Tom bag right there. Look at that. Oh, ending going on. close up. Tom accessories, there, cigars and coffee. My goodness, I didn't get that. I'm waiting. Hey, Christian, Daddy needs some. Daddy needs some love. Christian, go ahead. So, oh, there's, there's more. Havanos. He's one of the. I think only ten. only ten master of Havanos in the UK. He knows. He's forgotten stuff about wow. cigars. I've yet to learn. Look at that. Very nice. Go. Oh, that's not very nice. Very, oh, look at that. I even got a lighter. Nice. You know what? I, hey, just so, just so you know, you know what I got? Do you know what I got from, you know what I got from Tom Tom? I got buckus. I got zilch. Buckus. <laughs> That's what I got from Tom Tom. More important than real things. You're getting the. <laughs> okay. Loyalty. Okay. It's good to know. I'm like. Roving journalist, I'm breaking legs to be here. Here I am. Um, the yeah, yeah. You're, you're actually you're... now. Before we start the show, oh look, Riz is going to be smoking um, cannabis later. Um, before we start the show, um, just to let everybody know that the show is basically us bantering here for a little bit, teaching you stuff about cigars, and then we're going to go into our dinner guests. And then after our dinner guests, we'll talk about the cigars we're smoking. And then after that, we'll talk about. Politics in the United States and globally, because it's something you don't want to miss. So there you go. Go ahead, I'm listening. On, on that note, Raza is going to pay his may, tribute to may, Mr. Trump. May I remember one thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Mm. President, for watching. <laughs> but if, if, I, if I remember correctly, Mr. Trump this week was at the Black Journalists Caucus, and he was questioning Camilla's blackness. you have any comments on that for your boy, Mr. Trump? Mr. Trump? Thank you for watching. That's what I thought. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. I love the man that goes against the system, especially with a few billion dollars in his pocket. Well, you know. I'll remember that. I'll, I'll give you a, a quote from a very famous 1980s movie, Wall Street. Greed is good. Yes. That's, that's uh, Gordon Gecko. Thank you for the kids that don't know. <laughs> hey you know i gotta tell you it was been this new ai generated visa that we have i like it much better than the original guy i'm done we can control I him to do anything you. it's awesome <laughs> I, I, I so agree with you actually i know right this is cool when we meet when we all get together in person the the, the original visa is going to be boring we're going to have to like replace him with the ai i find you're getting more yeah. material me being a complete arsehole <laughs> than, than my normal <laughs> yes Wait, wait, I'm sorry. You, you're, that is your normal self. So I don't understand. <laughs> like, is there a difference? Or I still love you, princess. Don't worry about it. So no matter what, I love you. I haven't at any stage. For <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love you. We know we love you. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying your cigar at your place. I feel it. And that's what mm. I part from being at Tom Tom. By giving the audience, giving the viewers a little bit of insight into London cigar smokers, what they talk about, yes. at what they riff about when they get together. We talk politics, we talk intrigue, we talk about who's sleeping with who, that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, the kind of stuff that you do when you smoke the best, cigars. The best stuff. Uh, the whole room has gone quiet. The best quiet. part today I'm is that, what I'm saying. That Raza is <laughs> The best part today is that Raza is actually smoking with the London cigar smokers who are actually dressed for the occasion. Unlike yeah, these are yes. just yeah. yeah. 
I decided not to dress today because it's too hot. So I will dress next week when it cools down. And I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna have to buy a fedora. Already, you, you, you're not gonna. Dress, oh, basically, you're not gonna dress next week nicely for the show, but for some other reasons. Oh no, she's not coming on the show now. She's decided that our show is as is, is. She can't go with us because she's just. We're just too much for her and her fans. Can I kick off my first guest? Please. Well, I can't wait to hear who your first guest is. There's a guest. There's a guest. Yeah. Guest. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so since the theme is uh, nautical explorers, I'm going with Magellan. Now, Magellan. Sorry, did I get the theme right? Did I, is everyone? Everyone's like. Yeah, so, uh, so, okay. so just so we're just, just so princess, just so we're clear. Um, the theme this week is um, AI and what AI Fiction or non-fictional things that you want to have with you. Our our number one guest for AI, of course, is you because you're fictional now, apparently. Um, so yes. So if you can, I don't know, regenerate yourself into that theme, that would be awesome. And I'm sure between all of you and your I'm friends going, there, you can come up with something. I'm going for my first guest. My first guest okay. is the robot from the movie I Robot, from the book written by uh, Isaac Asimov, in which yep. Will Smith is going on a murder hunt and one of these robots becomes sentient, become, um, develop feelings, is the target. Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than feelings. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so my robot, and I want to work yeah. out if this robot has attained human feelings or not. That's my first guess. And the best way to find out is to make him smoke a cigar and see if he, you know, splutters all over the place. I think that's. I like. Yeah. I like your. I like your. Fir, I like your first guess. I, I like your first guess. I, unfortunately, I have no respect for the gentleman that you mentioned because he slapped another man um, on stage because um, he was a pussy, and I don't like that. So I, I like the movie. I look, but no respect to the actor. Great juice, and in this case, that movie. That I agree. I like the movie, but see, <laughs> if if I may go next, because really, you're missing, you're missing, you're you're missing the you're you're missing the boat, because really, the best AI anything is only one, and it will always always be one. Which yeah, other than Riza, is Hal from two thousand and one Space you Odyssey. See. And, and wait a second, and wait a second, before you go off on a tangent, if open, you take open. the letter of Hal and go one letter next to it, it spells a company name. Ooh. Hey, no, take Hal, and then what, what comes after H, what comes after A, and what comes after L, what does that spell? H-I-I-B-M. Look at you. Oh, the light bulb went off. Oh, the hat. <laughs> Theory before I have heard this theory. It's not a theory. It's it's a law. It's a true thing. You. It's, I have to say on this occasion, you have topped my yeah. dinner. That's not hard to do. You're AI generated, apparently. <laughs> glitch, 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 glitch. glitch. <laughs> well, Osman, go for it. Yeah. So, 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 since the topic today was. AI and whatever to do with it, I decided not All right. to invite my guests. Rather, I'm taking this on a very different dimension. And since we are cigars, I am going to talk more about how AI can actually impact the cigar world. Oh. And, when we, and when we talk about that, so, so, so the fact is <clears throat> that I would actually like to talk to both of your guests as to how AI is going to help us create more unique and interesting blends of cigars. How can AI, possible? Mustafa, how yes. can AI uh, create better blends of cigars? One sentence. Can it or can't it? Cannot, no. Simple, straightforward. AI can't do what we humans can do because we can do it better. Ali. hard for AI to actually understand what it's doing. It just knows how to connect things, but not necessarily know why it needs to 
it's a good person. At least as it stands now. I, 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 the, the respect for both of these London smokers have gone massively higher for me because I hate AI when it comes anything close to the cigars. I personally don't okay. feel... The only thing I think is it can give you data points. It can actually do the analysis based on different people's responses on cigars and the blends, but it might not be able to generate a blend for itself, which would have the uniqueness of being called a hand-rolled cigar and providing a very completely bespoke kind of a profile and aroma. And, and I'm glad you used the word analysis. Because yes. analysis starts with anal, um, in, as a word. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh. I'm sorry, mm. you've got me in this drifting kind of mode right now. So I'm going to riff. Can I tell you something? I'm liking the princess the way she is right now. I'm loving it. She's uh, my fa- this is my favorite. You, you have to come this way every week now. I love you. I, lo- I, buddy. I cannot wait to give you a big hug when I see you. You don't even know. And I'm not talking from the front. I'm talking from behind like the Greeks. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 we already got AI Guest two. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes. Come with me if you want to live. The Terminator. The yeah. uh, summit of AI. The deadly... Uh, side of AI, when AI becomes something that is time traveling and something that can get inside the human mind, it can be very threatening. But on top of that, this Terminator is definitely going to smoke a cigar with me. I think so. That's only because Arnold smokes cigars. Huh? Ah. Arnold smokes cigar. You know, by the way, Arnold watches the show. So biggest shout out to Arnold. I, he calls us all the time. He wants to be a guest. But we don't know if he's a big enough star. Mr. So Gump. when he gets a little bigger, he can be a he can be a cigar, he can be a guest on the show. Are, are, we, are we talking about Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yes, we are. Oh, perfect. Oh. I, the reason I just asked this question is following Raza's AI techniques of calling the name three, four times so that it automatically beats the system. Mm. You can be a bloody good idea tomorrow. Okay. Oh, that's good. So my guest, I have a list, of course, because I have a staff and they actually do real research to make sure that we only pick the best guests. Um, so I know it's crazy. So as you can I'm see, stuck, I'm stuck between I, have, I have a list. Person and Raza. <laughs> so I, my next, my next, my next guest, yeah. my next guest is IBM's Watson. IBM what? Watson. You've never heard of IBM Watson? You know about IBM's him? Watson. Yeah. IBM's Watson was the first AI computer. It was on Jeopardy, and it, it plays Go. It plays chess. Um, it does a whole bunch of stuff. It's fascinating. Okay. That's very cool. Yeah. That's not as good as Arnold as the Terminator. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, so you want death and destruction, apparently, but go ahead. <laughs> I ordered round two because this man is not going to beat the Terminator. But see, I told you I haven't brought any guests. I'm in the research mode today. I'm I'm in a very different mode of today. So for, for me, the next topic or the next section of AI I'm gonna touch is do you think there can be sensory palettes discussion and 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 more research that AI can do in terms of uh, the cigar profiles and aromas? Well, let me tell you something. Mustafa sitting here made a comment, and I will add this comment into this as a response. Machine-made cigars are essentially AI making cigars. I won't say AI, but it's a form of mechanization that makes cigars. And machine-made cigars are generally, you know, (laughs) meh. Well, well, technically, in that case, I'm sorry, but Davidoff is something which is like, Near perfect cigars, I consider them Mac because of their absolute perfect nature. To me, yes. sometimes I even question. Yes. Yeah. Sometimes I even question whether they are hand rolled or machine made because of this very reason. So yeah, I, I I hear what Mustafa is saying, but I personally think that's something not for me. 
not that I don't like them, not that I don't like them, but yes, still I wouldn't venture in that category. I'm having a hard time getting past Hal. I'm having a very hard time getting past Hal, actually, uh, because oh, I th- so basically, basically no. your future home, right? Sorry. Basically, your future home. My future home. Yeah. Why? You said hell, right? Oh, ow! H A L, not H E L L. I want. <laughs> Okay, what have I done? What have I done that's so nasty that everyone's giving me a hard time today? <laughs> wait, wait. I, I have a list. On this side of my paper is the list. Number one. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going li- to keep my third choice open. Stephen, do you want to go to your third choice? I will, but let me ask you this. Why are you having a hard time getting past Hal from 2001? Because Hal is perfect. In terms of AI, there's another one. And, okay. Thank you. Okay, I am today going to hand over my third dinner guest to the person sitting here who knows that. Hand over to Ali Gadir. Let me give you one. Ali? All right. Mr. Watching. Mr. We're, we're still going. <laughs> the third one, I would, I would probably pick is Agent Smith from The Matrix. Oh, very nice. Good choice. On that same murderous tangent as uh, Hal and uh, the Terminator. Thanks for saving Raza today. Because <laughs> yeah, thanks for saving. I'll, I'll hand you back to. I'll have you back to Thank back. you. Agent Smith, Matrix. Oh my. What is it? Everyone's brain is working a hundred times faster than mine. <laughs> because wait, wait. Is that something? That, you yeah, you're AI generated. You know? yeah. <laughs> wait, and that's nothing. Is that something new that people are working faster than you? Or is that just today? Or what are we doing here? <laughs> oh, 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 they just woke nice. up. I'm feeling it's slightly intergalactic. Right? Oh my God. Well, you know what it is? It's the fedora. You can't get those the, the brainwaves going with that fedora on. That's why. So, alien influence. Signal, <laughs> signals blocked. It's not a fedora. fedora it's a borsellino. Listen, oh. I don't care what potato name you call potato. it. It's a fedora. <laughs> oh, potato, potato. Interest. Here's a point of interest. This hat is made by the same company that makes hats for Humphrey Bogart in California. Wow. Yeah. That is really good to know. Thanks for slowing up the show. Um, now, <laughs> my, my my next dinner guest is once again. Rings, you missed the rings. It's a, it, it's, it's 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 calm down. It's okay. Um, my yeah. next dinner guest. Wow. This ain't you know what, Riz, uh, our Usman. Next week when we bring on the next Riza generated AI, we're gonna have to bring them down. I think you know, yeah. no fedora. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I think yeah. Yeah. Um, I think. Our next dinner guest is going to be Asmo by Honda, which is their computer, their je- their robot that did walk and everything. This. What the huh? fuck is What the hell is going on here? I don't understand your question. I said this is great. Great choices. Thank you. I won, I'm basically winning every round because you guys are going for death and destruction. I'm going for the taking over of humanity quietly. Like we're doing now here at the Illuminati and Lizard People Club. So, you know. <laughs> but I have to say, yeah. until all of those things said and done, Hal comes out. Open the door, Hal. 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 Mm-hmm. Open the door. And Hal won't open the door. It's very, very famous movie. Uh, 2001 Space Odyssey by Prophecy Clark. Uh, questionable that he was spent a lot is in Sri Lanka in retreat, but he did invent the uh, artificial satellite, communication satellite. Yeah, and he did. Books. R.C. Clark mentioned there. Um, and and Stanley Kubek is the one who directed 2001 Space Odyssey. I think it's one of his best movies ever. Yes, especially the, the musical score at the beginning. Yes. Oh. Uh, and they, oh yeah. Because I'm silly doing it. Yeah, but go for it, Stephen. I, I, why? Well, oh, duh, I can't. No, it's copyrighted. We'll get in trouble. Um, 
Osman. Okay, so we, so we so far we have we have we have um, is Osmo. We've got the Terminator guy or the Matrix guy. Osman, what's your third AI that you want to discuss today? AI guests. All the AI guests. Oh, my, 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 if I'm talking of the guests, the only guest I have today is sitting right on like this side. Yeah, this side. There you go. Right <laughs> having, said, having, ha having said that, <clears throat> on the AI front, the, th the third topic I, or, or the third thing that I'm going to do. Huh? That's the AI back, not the front. Let's go in the back. Yeah, okay, fair enough. For cigars, the third well, the, the, so far the contribution by AI has been in terms of all these electronic devices that have right. been coming up uh, in terms of the electric humidors, in terms of the air purifiers, the humidifiers, and all that stuff, which is ultimately allowing us to to, to make that. So hence, I think it can aid the process. But would it ultimately take over? I don't really think so. So, mm. so, so my, my, my fact is it can just be an aid, nothing more than that. I did, the I, think... right, I did the right thing by sitting here. There's a reason why. I'm sitting next to two people who are coming up with ideas beyond ideas. Oh, my God. There's a notable mention here. Kit. The Knight Rider car. Yeah, from Knight Rider. Yeah, I have him on my list. Kit from the Knight Rider. Yeah, that goes to that point goes to Ali Gardezi. I think Ali Gardezi and Stephen have won this show. But Ali Gardezi, he's over there. Oh, it's no. the, it's, it's, I like it. It's the first time that Raza has himself accepted defeat. Wow. I, I, and, He's, uh, hey, now if Donald Trump, if Donald Trump can learn from you, that would be great. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> so, hey, let's. I got. I let's let's talk about because we, we've done our cigars, we've done our guests, and of course we knew Hal from two thousand one was going to win because I picked him. I agree. Um, but On this occasion, I agree. Ali Gardezi agrees. Mustafa, do you agree? Absolutely. Mustafa agrees. We agree. Hal wins. All right. Al wins. So here's a question for you. This week, your favorite person, Mr. Trump, was at the Black Journalists Caucus event. And he said, and I'm and I'm paraphrasing, he was questioning Camilla Harris's blackness. Is she really black? What's the thought on that? I thought that was the dumbest thing. He said a lot of dumb things over his last 70 plus years. But that, mwah, Mr. Trump, was the best. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he is a discombobulator. He likes to say things and provoke things and put a finger yeah. up people. Um, there comes the word analysis again. Uh, he likes, I think he likes, I personally think that underneath all that is a very, very smart, astute survivor. Whatever he is, he's a survivor. Whatever he is, okay? He's got a lot of shitloads of money, which he inherited, and he could have blown it all away. Instead, he has taken it to another. I mean, there's a good and bad side to everyone, every human being. Yeah, I personally think that he doesn't mean all this stuff. He likes saying it. He's like one of these people that will just go and totally screw up a room for the hell of it. That's what I think of Trump. I'm sure he's got a bad side. I'm sure he's done some very nasty things. I'm sure he's capable of nasty things. But I'm sure he's very capable of good things as well. And I personally think all of this, and, and I can sit at a distance in the UK, and for us it's a bit like shooting the breeze. What he's trying to do for himself, he's a power player. He's a business broker. He's a business maker. That's all, that's all he's doing, personally. Right. That, that's it. That, it's, nothing, it's, it's that shallow and it's that deep. There's nothing more than that. Stephen... Yes. Have you ever heard Raza being respectful like this to anyone yet? The way he was only Trump and defending Mr. Trump. Yeah, I, I know. I'm just like impressed. I believe someone has to, other than Pierce Morgan. <laughs> someone has to have someone else's back. I've got you, both you guys. I've got your back. 
we have we have your back too without that fedora. But anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> we, we're we're behind you uh, a couple hundred meters, but we're there. Um, so I think it's interesting that you say that. Um, you know, he was just convicted of thirty four felonies, um, yeah. and he did, and he's done other things we won't bring up on the show. But it's it's interesting that you think he's done something good. Um, I would love to know the one good thing that he's done. Yes. That's what I thought. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Just checking. You know, I just I just get a kick out of it. That, and listen, we know, Mr. Trump, that you watch. We love you. We would love you to come on. Um, like I said, Arnold is begging to come on, but he's not big enough. Right now, right now, all of his little minions... Uh, scanning through YouTube and typing in Donald Trump, and this one comes up, and he's probably watching right now. Mm-hmm. Right now. Hello, Mr. Trump. Well, we'll invite him again to the show and see if he would like to come on. So, here, and now here's another thing for you. We discussed this on Lost Dollar Business Club just before this show. Um, the BBC had an article that talks about censorship in America, and it's talking about censorship of pornography. And uh, J.D. Vance, Trump's running mate, and Trump think that pornography should be banned, totally banned throughout the world because it's the most terrible, disgusting thing in the world. What's your thoughts on that? Should pornography be banned or is it just it's it's up to the parents to police it or what do we do? What do you guys think? Can I have to think about it? Uh, you can if you'd like. That's a real I question. Thought, he doesn't I know what to do with that one. Right. Going okay. to make an exit from the show. <laughs> I'm going to make an exit from the show. Yeah. And I'm going to let you two wrap up for logistical reasons. <laughs> <laughs> my that friend, was, it is always good to see you. That was that was a smart, it's that my was a smart pleasure. bit uh, of getting away from because, because there are there are other customers here, so I'm going to have to make, make an exit right now. Yes, because we can't talk. We can't talk. We'll see you next week, my friend. Cheers. He's got to figure out how to. There he goes. That was fun. So I figured. I, so apparently, there's certain things we're allowed to discuss at a at a at a British um, a British uh, chemist shop, and there's other things we can't talk about. Apparently, pornography absolutely. is one of them. <laughs> yes, I, absolutely, absolutely. And, and the way he just got like completely zoned out. Explain. Mm-hmm. Oh, he was cautioned. Behave. So I think yep. it, it, it was a good exit strategy for him to just like. Yes, yes. Oh, I'm just going out. Having yep, said yep, yep. That, otherwise, Raza's AI brain would have generated some answers immediately. Oh, that would have been awesome. So yeah. we got to get him a mic though, so when he's doing the show remotely, we can actually uh, hear uh, him better, and he won't cut in and out. You would you would you wouldn't uh, believe I actually looked for a few mics in the morning. And right. Amazon, the only thing is the one I was looking for I couldn't find, so I am searching. So before the next show's recording, he will have one because I'm making sure. Lucky I have his postal address, so I'm gonna make sure he gets that and he wears that too. Because otherwise, yes, because he's breaking up. Yeah, we can't hear him as as we would love. I will say this about the pig. This is their um, year of the ox. A lot of smoke. Once again, not a lot of flavor, but a lot of good, as you could tell, a lot of good smoke from it. It's a good, it's a nice stick. I'm very, um, I'm very, I like, I've, I'm now that I'm, I'm enjoying their stuff. And the wrapper was gorgeous with the gold and the thing. It was beautiful. So, um, but it's a very good smoke. It's, it's from a smoke perspective, it's a very good smoke. And so is the case with this Epico Deluxe, given the fact mm. that it is also, uh, uh, a slightly wider ringage. And it's a small candy uh, pocket rocket kind of thing. But right. then it's amazing aroma, uh, uh, smoke, very good aroma. And the profile is very nutty, creamy, and all that stuff. So I think I, I really like this. Very evening, morning, afternoon smoke. Uh, and now that you've mentioned the year of the ox, the fun fact is the British uh, chemist shops have actually received. Probably yesterday, and few are receiving it today. Uh, this year of the Dragon Monte Cristo by Habanos. Oh, nice! 
that is a new cigar i've been waiting for it since like april march april when it was originally uh launched but it was yet to be seen in any of the markets i i think that the britain market have started to actually take pace uh, and 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 take the advantage of being that big that in as compared to a lot of other markets they're getting some stocks really in time and and okay. the fact that Raza is at tom tom this morning i asked him and christian both to to uh, get me a few sticks from there so i think very nice I'm, I, I once I get those, I will try to smoke one in the show. Uh, but yes, you're right. I mean, these these how should I say these fancy smokes that are coming now to me are more of uh, the 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 marketing gimmick so mm. far that I've come to, except for a very few where I have seen a lot of flavor and a lot of richness of the blend but most of them have stayed true to the brand themselves uh and and given it's a monte cristo i'm not very sure what should i expect more but let's see let's see and then again what are the, you're really not going to do much to it right there's only so much you can do to a cigar so really yeah. it's going to be they're going to take whatever they have aging i would assume they're going to put the year of the dragon on it and go, it's yeah. our special kind of what Dav Davidoff did when they do their year of the tiger, the year of the dragon. Absolutely. I've, I've had, I'm a tiger. So I bought a whole box of the tigers. They were very good. Um, oh, there's a few other tiger. Good. Yeah. I tiger. love the tiger from Davidoff. Yeah. I did the tag it off. That's the tiger from Davidoff and a tiger from somebody else. I can't remember the name and Essentia? they were great smokes. Yes. Thank you. I did theirs and they, it was a great smoke. And I actually spoke to their guy in the United States because they had tons of boxes left over. And I said, if you give me a discount, I'll take all thousand boxes you have. And he wouldn't. I was like, all right, then I'll just buy whenever I want them. Um, but they had a lot left over. And I was asking him like, so, you know, and they're just cigars. I mean, they're just, they put a band on it and it's fine. So that's why, like when we spoke about the, the Rocky Patel, whatever, the $100 cigar where the guy's like, I bought a box. It's just a Rocky Patel. It doesn't cost Absolutely. any more or any less. Even if you're aging this cigar, it's still a, it's still a cigar. Um, and as we discussed, the Cuban cigars have more flavor and not yes. a lot of smoke. And with a new world like this, I get lots of smoke and not a lot of flavor. And I'm okay with that because it is true. what it is. That, that's very true. Having said that, that now that the Cubans have also started to get on the bandwagon of thicker ringed cigars, I mm. am yet to come into the stage where they're going to they're, they're actually losing the variety of that flavor Ooh. profile as compared to how they used to have it in the past. Because whenever they would come up with a new Vitola, there would be some right. distinct thing. Now with a lot of Vitolas coming in, a lot of marketing gimmick coming in, a new band coming in, they are losing on that part and they're gaining their uh, smokeability more. So where right. I am, I, I'm a little confused and concerned how it's going to go and play in the future and whether they are also going to be coming very much similar to the non-Cubans. But let's hope that isn't the case. And which is why I've started to appreciate their thinner ringages more once again, going old school, right. where there is more aroma, more flavor profile, yep. a lot of complexity in the cigar where you actually feel all the three thirds of the cigar. So I think, let's see how it goes. But but yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. On the Year of the Tiger thing, I thoroughly enjoyed the Davidoff Year of the Tiger. Uh, yep. It's a beautiful cigar, especially the wrapper with those tiger mm -hmm. stripes. The way they had done it, it has been phenomenal. And the box was very nice, like the red box. Yes. Looks very good. Uh, the only thing in, in that year of the tiger, I smoked the Placentia. I didn't really like it. It was just smoke. Having said that, the year of the tiger, uh, Habanos, which was the age of man's magnum 52. Right. Also a very good cigar. If you, if you I had, I had, had, I had one. Yes. Okay. I had one of those. They, it was beautiful. Any, when, when it's my year, I try to buy every year of the tiger. And smoke it during my year. I, I'm my friends are like you should keep it. I'm like why? In 12 years there'll be another one. But it was yes. a beautiful. It's a it's a it's a beautiful smoke, and yes. I enjoy that. And then to you know, and I think what's happening with the Cubans compared to New World is the Cuban cigar manufacturers are finding out that a lot of people can't taste 
what's the cigar, right? You know, they can't go, <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's leather, it's chocolate, it's this. So I think what they're doing is they're doing what a lot of New World cigars are doing. It's like, I'm going to give you more aroma and more smoke. And then this way, you don't have to sit there and go, I taste, because yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? So, and it's not, then it doesn't become a palate thing. It becomes an aroma. Like, I really enjoy the aroma. Now, you still get a flavor through it. So sometimes you'll light a, a new world and you're like, yeah, I don't really like the flavor. You don't smoke it. But yeah. with the Cubans, you can taste more. With the new world, I think they're, in now it's going to the Cubans, giving me more of the smoke because it's like, oh, the aroma. It fills the air with that nice aroma. And I think that's what, um, not so much aficionados, but I think all these new people in different countries like China and India and wherever, even in America that are getting into it or try it, they're like, oh, that aroma. And I think yeah. in their mind, it's the aroma, not so much the taste. Yes, yes. So, so a lot of new smokers, as you said, are more into more smoke and, 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 and the, in their words, easy flow. Because with right. a lot of cubes, otherwise, they say, oh, the draw is tight and all that stuff. They like that smoke more. And yes, they, because of that smoke, they get the aroma. But as far as the flavor profile is concerned, you're absolutely right. A lot of people cannot. I know of a lot of uh, cigar smokers who've been smoking for a long time. And they still are very open about saying that they can't taste anything at all. Yeah. And, and, and the, the only thing they enjoy is the, 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 the smoke and, and maybe as the aroma. That's it. Yeah, yeah. No, no. And, and that's it. So, I mean, and as we always say, it doesn't matter as long as you enjoy the cigar you have. New World or Cuban, you enjoy it. And that's it. And, and really, it's as RZA, as if Tom Toms, if you want to thank Tom Toms today for letting RZA um, put up with our antics and smoke there. <laughs> but, um, and he'll probably not be allowed back now after the questions we asked. But um, I think part <laughs> of the, um, I think, I think part of the interest is, is it's just that brotherhood or sisterhood, if you will, where you get yes. together with your mates or with total strangers and you can smoke and you can just enjoy the company of other people enjoying it. Now, Risen knows everybody in London. So for him, it's a different, it's a different story. So. I, I, I totally agree with you. But, but, but what the, the last thing that you touched upon, the camaraderie that this cigar brings in and builds is the reason how I know Raza and then through Raza, I know you now and you're on the show. Similarly, right. Ali, who was sitting right next to him, the only reason I knew him originally was because he was also on Instagram and, and we used to smoke cigars. And one day I got to know that he's also from Pakistan and he came and we met last year for the first time. And now we're good friends. Mustafa for that matter. So so yes, it is it is that bond and it is it is that kind of network that we build around and that is why we just call up, oh, can I have this? Can I have that? And and and, right. and more like the other hobby of mine where the car enthusiasts, and especially the vintage car enthusiasts, whenever traveling, oh, can you bring the carburetor for me? Can you bring that for me? Is the right. same thing. So I think it's it's more of that culture and that lifestyle which is right. built around the cigars, which is more attractive and keeps us bound together. Uh, yeah. and, and it's always a conversation starter. And it's a, and and cigars are a lifestyle. And I think mm -hmm. don't people like I don't smoke. It's very funny. I don't, if I'm smoking in public, I'm just smoking. I don't really care. If I'm smoking at the house, once again, don't care. But for me, it's something I just enjoy. It's not to be like, look, I'm smoking a cigar or whatever. And, and people laugh at me and they're like, but you don't go out a lot and smoke cigars. And I'm like, there's no place really, if you will, here in Austin that when huh. I go, the, guy, the guys that I meet that smoke cigars here, they're doing it for show. As we met the guy at the Monte Cristo, right? Yeah. Like I bought a, I bought a box of, Right. But that's not what I asked you. I'm like, tell me about the smoke. Is it a good, I bought a box that tells you everything. No, it doesn't tell me anything. I don't know you. Right. So yeah. for me, I find the people here, they're smoking to show off. And I'm yes. like, I'm, I'm smoking because I actually enjoy it. I want to try new things, learn new things. Um, I find when I go up North to New York, when I go back there and smoke cigars, it's very much a different mentality, whether I'm at Davidoff or wherever. It's just yeah. people are smoking just like we're just it's that brotherhood here. It's more of um, I'm going to show off because I'm going to go buy the most expensive um, cigar. And I'm like, yeah, that's not really how it's done. I mean, I guess it is, but not for me. For me, it's like I want a good cigar. I, 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 can, I can totally relate to it. And, and if I put Pakistan into context, 
three of the big cities that we have in terms of the cigar smokers karachi being the right. commercial hub of the country islamabad being the capital of the country and lahore being the 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 the, 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 the cultural hub or or the i would say i totally agree with you lahore where i live 80% of the smokers i actually to show off and 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 to say yeah. that oh i belong to a certain class or i have achieved something and all that stuff whereas in islamabad it is more to do with networking and people want to be connected through that and 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 stay conscious and all that stuff karachi on the other hand is completely different where it is more on the brotherhood part and 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 the love of cigars and the recent example is last week i flew into karachi and it was freaking hot it was an average of around 40 42 degrees celsius where wow. uh, humidity levels of at least 85 to 90 relative humidity so it was bloody hot and humid uh yet yet in that temperature we had more than 25 people turned up to sit outdoors mm-hmm. just yeah. for the sake of smoking cigars and the camaraderie and we spent like four good hours of extreme laugh uh right. and, and and enjoy that so so i agree with you it it depends on where you are and and how you see it i i love it and i enjoy it with people like those where it's more to do with the bond uh right. sharing and all of that stuff I think I went with 20 cigars, 22 cigars. I smoked around 8, 10 cigars in those three days. I came back with about 32 cigars. It's just like <laughs> that's, that's, yep. how, that's how this is. Yeah, so, no, no, it's the same. I've been there's um there used to be um a cigar club. I think it's still around called the Havana Club in New York. Used to be a member, and we go there, and there was a group of us, and there's this guy sitting by himself, and we're like, dude, you need to come and smoke with us, because yes. why be why are you so and it's sort of like that camaraderie which i like i like the fact we were there we're having you know because you can have dinner or you can have your um your um your your bar snacks and you can smoke cigars and we're smoking and like we see this guy by himself we're like you come you'll smoke with us and it was just one of those things it's like we didn't know him and it was just fun to you know have other people and be part of whatever we're going to talk about and whatever you're going to do and and i think that's part of the cigar culture and lifestyle that people don't really understand as as ai rizzo would say filthy filthy had it um but the real rizzo who smokes like 97 cigars a minute um diff- different mentality so i think that's one of those things where um you if you get into it and you get into it with the right crowd you realize what it really is it really does become that camaraderie of your fellow cigar people like i i went to the big smoke once that cigar aficionado puts up yeah, yeah. and it was it, it was interesting but it was a, a lot of people went to learn like i did i wanted to learn and a lot of people went to show off you know like oh look at this look and i was i was fascinated by that and to me it's sort of like you know i just want to chill and enjoy my cigars and 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 see what's out there and learn as much as i can and so it's a, it's a very different you know people do it for different reasons so Absolutely. you know I, where was that the big smoke that you attended the vegas one or the florida the- one No, the Vegas. If you're going to do the big smoke, you do it in Vegas. You're not going to go to Florida, I mean, you know. Fair you got to go to Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. So I mean like yeah, Florida big deal. Oh, there's an ocean. So, you know, pretty soon all of Florida will be ocean. It's not a big deal. My friend, it's always good to see you. So, thank Absolutely. you so much. And en- enjoy your I see Mark Twain still with you. That's very good. Okay. Um, he'll always be Mark Twain to he'll always be Mark Twain to me. So <laughs> I, I, that's perfectly fine. As long as it, as long as you remember, that's okay. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then one day, as the show gets larger, we'll make bobbleheads of the three of us, and that will be a true like you'll have to have a bobblehead of the three of us. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now, since our AI generated Raza has disappeared already, are yes. we going to keep the next week's topic as a surprise, or are we going to decide it another one? Because Eric is going to forget. Well, that's up to you, my friend. You are like the co-host, so you tell me. Do you want to pick a topic, or do we want our uh, esteemed friend to have to tell us the topic during the week and we figure it out? How? Let's do that. Let's 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 okay. let's leave it to him and and put some pressure on him so that he remembers that. Uh, and, and, oh, this and will be he, good. Yeah, 
and, and we keep the surprise for everyone. There you go. So next week, next Saturday, everybody, we don't know what our topic's going to be, but we will give you another how-to on cigars for our esteemed uh, sommelier. Um, and we will discuss cigars and whatnot, and we'll banter, and we'll have a good time. So sit back, light a cigar, enjoy, enjoy your time with us for about an hour. If you're listening on the podcast, thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you want to catch us on the podcast so you can smoke cigars and drive, go to Two Old Farts Making Noises, wherever you get your podcasts to look for the Habana Drinks and Cigar Show. And if you're here on YouTube, you can find us here every Saturday morning and we'll go from there. My friend, it's always a pleasure. I will see you uh, next week. Cheers. Cheers, boy.